Now, ISRO has released the most stunning images of the moon as we count down to landing day. The Chandrayaan 2 orbiter has welcomed Vikram lander saying, welcome buddy to the lander. Two-way communication has also been established between the orbiter and the lander. The latest images released are of the far side of the moon captured by the camera mounted on lander Vikram. This is the same camera that assists in locating a safe landing area without any boulders or deep trenches to ensure Vikram can touch down on the lunar surface without any challenges. Now, as the landing is slated to take place on August 23rd at 6.04 p.m., a billion Indians are now praying for Chandrayaan's success. Prayers are being performed in some of the most iconic temples in the country for our ISRO heroes as the landing date comes closer. Remember, ISRO has aced the deboosting operation. The first round took place on August 18 and the second yesterday, which has brought lander Vikram to its closest point to the moon at 25 kilometers. With every maneuver, the mission edges closer to unlocking the moon's secrets and deepening our understanding of the universe. I have been telling from the beginning, it is a landing, it is a very, very complex process. So, even now also we are telling that the landing is a complex process. So, but nothing to do with the Russians' lander failure. But we have our own system and we will be establishing a soft landing without any problem with our system. So, but it is a complex process. My colleague Pramod is now joining me live on this. Pramod, some most stunning images that have been released by ISRO. This only just heightens the anticipation going into landing day on August 23rd. It absolutely is, and it is not just stunning images, but also one of the like few difficult images to get as well, because this is on the far side of the moon, the dark side of the moon, because from Earth, we only see one side of the moon since we have a synchronous lock with the moon and the gravitation of the Earth. Now, Israel's uh, Chandrayaan-3 has gone over there, the lander is showing all these images, and as these images are being sent to us, the lander module is also calculating exactly where to do a soft landing. Not just that, ISRO has also made two-way communication with it. The earlier orbiter from Chandrayaan-2, also we have the propulsion module from Chandrayaan-3, which are going to guide. These are going to be the two uh, uh, systems that will actually relay communication from the mission, uh, MOX, uh, ISRO center uh, in Bengaluru, all the way to uh, the lander module. And this is the reason we just have another 50 hours or so, but these are like really crucial time. In fact, uh, what happened earlier with Lunar 25 is that uh, there was a small error that led to the uh, uh, complete destruction of the lunar module. So everything is being precisely calculated. Like time is being taken, but that is absolutely necessary because we need to make sure that everything sinks accurately, and that way the the lunar land the uh, uh, lunar lander uh, does a proper soft landing on the moon's surface. Right, Promo. Thank you so much for joining us with all of those details. Now, Russia's first moon mission in 47 years has failed. Russia's Luna 25, which was expected to land a day before India's Chandrayaan-3 crashed into the moon after spinning into an uncontrolled orbit. Russia's space agency lost touch with the spacecraft due to technical issues with Luna 25. Now, all eyes are on India's Chandrayaan-3. Take a look at our detailed report. As Chandrayaan-3 heads to the moon and will land on August 23rd at 6 p.m. There was another country aiming to land at the exact same place, the moon's South Pole, but failed. Russia's first moon mission in 47 years has failed. Russia's Luna 25 took off for the moon on August 10th, a whole 35 days after Chandrayaan-3 was launched into space and was expected to reach the moon a day before Chandrayaan. Luna 25 spacecraft crashed into the moon after spinning into an uncontrolled orbit. Russia's space agency lost contact with Luna 25 after a technical issue in the spacecraft. Measures taken to locate Luna 25 were also unsuccessful. Now, no one will give an answer about what happened explicitly. If we talk about the facts, then 
when the station entered a circular circumlunar orbit with a height of 100 kilometers, it was flying. Everything was fine. When it was necessary to prepare for landing, the orbit had to be turned into an ellipse, where the shortest distance to the moon should have been 18 kilometers and the longest 100. Such an elongated ellipse. And in order to form this elongated ellipse orbit to lower the altitude, it was necessary to turn the engines forward along the station's flight path and turn on the engines for braking. The Russian spacecraft was scheduled to land on Monday to explore southern pole of the moon, which scientists think could hold frozen water and precious elements. Luna 25 was expected to reach the moon in just 12 days, whereas Chandrayaan is taking 40 days. But why is that? Well, the most important factor is the weight. While Chandrayaan 3 weighs a whopping 3,900 kgs, the Luna 25 is much, much lighter, weighing just 1,750 kilograms. Now that Russia is out of the race to moon, all eyes are on India's Chandrayaan 3. After successful completion of India's moon mission, India will join an elite league of three nations, the United States, Russia and China to make a soft landing on the moon. Bureau report India Today. Now, actor Prakash Raj has stirred up a controversy. He mocked India's moon mission by tweeting a photograph of a man in a vest and lungi pouring tea, calling it first images by Chandrayaan 3 from moon. At a time when a billion hearts are praying for the spacecraft's soft landing, Prakash Raj was seen mocking the mission. His comment hasn't gone down well with netizens, with many slamming him for his blind hatred and mocking of India's moon mission. Prakash Raj in the past too has been called out for his political opinions. He had taken a chaiwala dig in the past and had been called out for the same as well. We are yet to hear from him on any sort of clarification for the tweet that he put out. Prakash Raj, विपक्ष के इन लोगों ने भारत की हर उपलब्धि को छोटा बताने की कोशिश की है यह देश के प्रधानमंत्री को मोदी जी को छोटा करते करते भारत के सवा सौ करोड़ लोगों की उपलब्धियों को छोटा कर रहे हैं चंद्रयान की जो उपलब्धि है वो भारत के लिए गौरवमय है और उसको बार बार छोटा करना भारत की उपलब्धियों को छोटा करना तो मैंने जैसे पहले कहा यह विपक्ष जो है फ्रस्ट्रेटेड है और किसी भी सूरत में मोदी जी को छोटा दिखाना चाहता है ये जो हमारे जो कोई समाज में रहने वाले जो विरोधी लोग है इनको मोदी जी के बारे में पर्सनल द्वेष है वो कुछ भी काम करते हैं सुबह उठ के रात के सोने तक उनको सिर्फ मोदी फोबिया हो गया है इसलिए मोदी फोबिया होने के वजह से दिन और रात मतलब जितना अपना बीवी का नाम लेंगे नहीं उतने ज्यादा मोदी जी का नाम ले लेंगे इसलिए उनके बातों पे ज्यादा ध्यान देने की जरूरत नहीं है प्रकाश राज हैज फाइनली शोन हिज क्लास I should say, I mean, because his frustration with not, with being a political failure, with not even being able to launch himself uh, more than two to three times and being an absolute frustrated political failure, Prakash Raj has finally shown his class. Prakash Raj has finally shown what he's capable of. And Prakash Raj has finally shown that he is an absolute sore loser. देखिए भारत में एक बहुत बड़ा ऐसा कभी टुकड़े टुकड़े गैंग कभी दूसरा जो भारत को बदनाम करने के लिए हर प्रयास की कोशिश करते हैं क्योंकि ये सेलिब्रिटीज हैं इस कारण से इनको लोग ट्वीट पे देखते भी हैं इसके लिए पैसा लेते हैं तो जितने फॉलोअर्स होंगे ये उनको वो बताना चाहते हैं इससे पहले भी बहुत से विदेशों से भी इस प्रकार की कोशिश है विदेशों की जो कोशिश है उसी का एक हिस्सा होगा वो शर्मनाक है कि मोदी जी के प्रति उनकी इतनी नफरत है कि वह देश के साइंटिस्ट का उपहास उड़ा रहे हैं मैं अपेक्षा करता हूं कि कर्नाटका की सरकार इसका कॉग्जेंस लेगी और इसकी चिंता करेगी वो ठीक नहीं है वो देश का मामला है और चंद्रयान अगर चांद तक पहुंच पाता है और लैंड करता है तो ये भारत की दुनिया के अंदर इज्जत बढ़ाएगा इसमें किसी तरीके की टिप्पणी नहीं